Hello, and today we're going to be walking through PLTW, uh, Principles of Engineering or PLE, Activity 1.1.4, uh, looking at how we can use uh, Onshape to create uh, these different pulley systems they want and do our pulley test. Uh, so to do this, first we have to download our document, so I'm going to select uh, this resource, or down below it gives you it in question number four, I believe, as well. Once we're here, we have to make a copy, so we're just going to select make a copy. I'm just going to name it PoE Poly, uh, so we know what it is. Uh, then you got to say where to put it, so I'm going to just put it in my own by me. Uh, you can place it in a folder. I'm not going to worry too much about placing it in a folder yet. I'll move it later on. Uh, and that gives us our Poly. Uh, if we look at our assignment for this activity, uh, we're down on, I believe, number four. Five now, four was just making our copy. Five is opening a custom table, so that custom table is already created. It's over here on the right hand side. Second from the bottom, it says custom table, and that gives us uh, this custom table that tells us if I pull down with 100 pounds of force, it can lift 200 pounds. Uh, when I do that, I pull the rope 50 millimeters, it's going to lift my weight 25 millimeters. And these values adjust as we change our pulleys. Uh, how do we change our pulley? We Over here on the left side, we double click where it says pulley physics. And we can change the number of pulleys, our distance pulled, and our applied force. As we change our values, let's say we go from one to two pulleys, once you hit enter, it automatically updates your values over here on the right side. So now it's still 100 pounds of applied force, but I got two pulleys, so now I can lift 400 pounds. Uh, now my rope's going 50 millimeters still, but now the distance for the lift is only going to be 12.5 millimeters. So we can change these different values. I can change the pulleys. I can change how far I lift it, and that changes my lift values. And it can also apply the force I need to lift with. So on the next question, it says you need less than 100 pounds. If you want to leave it at 100, you could. Or we could drop it down to like 80 like I just did. Uh, then that allows us to see how those changes affect these different values, those different variables here on the right side. Uh, just a reminder, when you're trying to see how one variable affects another, make sure we're just changing one variable at a time, so I can start like at 40 pounds of force and get my values. And then I can go up to 60, and I can work my way up as I change this one variable. I don't want to be changing multiple things at the same time. Hopefully this helps get you rolling on 1.1.4, working with pulleys and POE. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.